everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel, and another week has gone by, friends. <laughs> another week. These weeks are just flying by week after week after week. Oh my goodness. I've got my bin of empties. <laughs> well, not necessarily empty empties, but some things that I have been getting through that is for sure over the last week. Now, and it's so funny because a lot of people are like, man, you sure do buy a lot of wax. And I'm just like, yeah, have you seen my house? Have you seen how many warmers I go through? I go through a lot of wax. <laughs> So I still have a lot, but I'm going through it fast and furious, friends. Okay, so before we talk about wax, let's talk about the non-wax products. So um, I got through, I finished up my Apricot Vanilla uh, Car Bar. I really, really like this. It was, however, a little bit sweeter than what I prefer for a car fragrance. Isn't that kind of funny? Comment below if you are the same where like, you like certain scents in one area of your life. Like I love apricot vanilla in, in wax form. I really, I wish it was stronger uh, because I love it so much as far as home fragrance. Car fragrance, I liked it, but I was like, eh, it's a little bit off-putting for how sweet it is for what I'm smelling in my car. I know. I'm weird and quirky. I will readily admit that. Let me know if you're the same where you like, you like specific fragrances for specific areas of your house. Um, normally, like I would want everything to smell fruity or bakery or that sort of thing, but I'm finding that maybe not so much for my car. It's really nice and I definitely kept it in there for the full amount of time. Gosh, it was probably in there. <sighs> this, I don't, I don't know why I keep smelling this. like smelling this is going to tell me how long it was in my car. I think it was in my car for maybe two, three months, two, three months. I wasn't doing a whole lot of driving the last few months for several reasons. <laughs> the world shut down, but, um, it, it was nice. It was nice when I was in there. Um, uh, there's not a whole lot of fragrance left in there, but it's good. I was just so excited to break out one of my summer collection scent circles. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I think I'm done with apricot vanilla. So hibiscus water, I know you guys are probably so tired of hearing me talk about this. I love this scent so much and I love it in the car. I love it in the car. It's so, so good. Okay, what else? Uh, we got through a fragrance flower. Nice and dry, see that? So these last, they say they should last, I think 60, 70 days. Um, this definitely lasts longer for me in my, from my experience. This was Luna. This was Luna, right? Yeah, this was Luna. Um, these are really nice. This is very similar to like a reed diffuser kind of scent delivery system, but it's much prettier because you have this really pretty flower really nice right so i love this it's not room filling i like these for our bathrooms i also have um have one in our hallway upstairs it's just nice to just get like a little whiff of fragrance as you're passing by or when you're in the bathroom or wherever it's just it's nice and it's very pretty so this easily lasted two and a half, maybe three months before it really went fully dry. So you definitely get your money's worth. These are only 18 bucks. They make perfect gifts and they're just really pretty. So I love these. Okay, let's talk wax, friends. Speaking of hibiscus water, I went through one of my bars. <laughs> I love this. I got a crap ton of bars of this because I just love it so much. Made it immediately into my Scentsy Club. This is... <sighs> I have two favorite fragrances from the summer collection and you're going to see both of them here. This is definitely one of them. Oh, it's just so pretty. Very summery. It's got this like apple blossom kind of scent. I say apple blossom. It's like apple. It's like a floral apple kind of scent, but it's also kind of aquatic. It's really nice. I love this so very much. So really, really nice. Also from the summer collection. I went through two of these, right? Hang on, hang on friends. There's two of those. Here we go. My other favorite. Watermelon Tangerine. I love this. I love this. And I wasn't anticipating loving it as much as I actually do because watermelon scents, I love watermelon and I love the way watermelon smells. 
but watermelon for home fragrance to me it tends to smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just want my watermelon scents to smell more authentic than this does. <laughs> this is so nice, and I love the tangerine um, balance with this. It's so nice, so, so nice, so fruity in summary. It's watermelon and tangerine, and it's just wonderful really wonderful so i got through two bars of this this definitely made its way into my scentsy club i believe while i'm recording this you can still add the summer collection bars to your scentsy club these these are no longer available to purchase individually but you can add them to your scentsy club so i would suggest at least adding these two because they're fantastic okay i also got through two bars I was just feeling very much in the fruity mood for sure. I grabbed, and this is probably one of my favorite scents right now from, oh gosh, the new, the new spring and summer catalog. There's so many, there's so many good ones out right now. Rainbow Sherbert. Mm, I cannot get enough of this fragrance. I went through two whole bars. I love this. I love this. It's so fruity. Mm. it's so fruity but there is this and I say this the same every time so if you've been with me for any amount of time I'm sorry because I'm gonna say this until I'm blue in the face it's so sweet and fruity but there is this zing of lime that just cuts right through that sweetness but it adds to it it's not oh man this scent is amazing it's amazing I love this I'm very passionate about this scent it's amazing. Did I tell you it's amazing? Because it is. Uh, I also got through two bars of Berry Fairy Tale. This one actually did not last very long. I was surprised. This one is not available anymore. I did put it in my Scentsy Club because they did retire it last fall and winter season. And so I was worried that this was not going to come back because I do love it that much. Um, this is, it's fruity. It's like strawberries and pineapples. It's very fruity and fun. And so I was surprised because it is fruity that they did um, retire it for the summer season. So that's why I was like, oh, I don't think it's coming back. So I did add it to my Scentsy Club. However, it did not last very long. And normally this one has had better performance. So I don't know if I just went nose blind to it quicker or if it really did futz out super fast, but it was like, one full solid day and then the next day I really couldn't smell it. I don't keep my warmers on 24 seven. I do turn them off like, so my downstairs warmers, I turn off when I go to bed at night. Um, and then my upstairs warmers, if I'm not spending time upstairs, those warmers are off. So when I came down the next morning and I turned them on, I was like, I really can't smell it anymore. So I was kind of bummed out about that, but we'll see if it stays there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Um, I got through a bar of jammy time. <laughs> um, I really like this scent. This is my go-to scent for laundry products. So, um, what I have done is I put this in my bedroom, but the only thing is that I actually can't really smell it in my bedroom because my sheets already smell like that. So I feel like I'm already smelling it so much in my sheets <laughs> that in wax form it's not like adding to it but i do really like it if you don't use jammy time in the laundry products maybe give this a try in the bedroom it is very nice and comforting and soothing and i just i do really love this but um i already use it in the laundry so i need to use it in a different area of my house is the moral of that story um, I also got through a bar of blueberry cheesecake. I giggle because it was National Blueberry Cheesecake Day. What was that? On May 26th. So what was that? Tuesday. Um, so I broke out a bar of it. And this is one of my husband's favorites. This has become a favorite in our house. Uh, definitely one that I always have to keep on hand because Sean really loves it. I really like it. Um, it just, I mean, it really does smell like a blueberry cheesecake. And it's so funny. I tell this story over and over again. So if you've, if you have been with me on my channel for um, a little while, you probably have already heard this, but I smelled this and whenever I smell this, I'm like, it smells, I mean, it smells just like blueberry cheesecake. Like you legit smell the blueberries. You smell that rich 
cheesecake note and you get that like sugary sweet graham cracker crust even like you smell every layer to this scent and I'm like but I don't know that I want my house to smell like cheesecake <laughs> but I do it's so good it's really really good and this was actually one of the first ones that Sean ever commented on he kind of kept his comments to himself there for a really long time he's just like eh. If I don't like it I'm not gonna say anything or if he really didn't like it then he's like whoa either it's too strong or it's too this or I don't like it but generally speaking he just didn't ever comment until blueberry cheesecake came around <laughs> and he was like whoa what's happening here we need to have more of this happening and less of all the other stuff you have going on so it has become a rowberry staple so and it is a bestseller for a good reason because it smells delicious I also got through a bar of Inhale Exhale. This is in my Scentsy Club because it's just, this is a very unique scent. This was a scent of the month from January, I believe. And this, it, it's very unique. People either loved it or hated it. I loved it. So much to add it to my Scentsy Club. This, um, it's a salty, and I know that sounds weird. It's a salty citrusy scent. It's really nice and it's crazy strong too. So <clears throat> this was really nice. Inhale, exhale. And then also I got through a bar of the Frozen 2 inspired Mythic Journey. Uh, this one's nice. This is one of the ones, when I did my Scentsy Club haul, I would, this was one of the ones I was like, well, I think I may take this one out just to kind of like calm my club situation down and then I stick my nose in them and then I'm like oh it's in my club for a reason because it just smells so dang good it's so good they did such a good job with this collection hands down amazing this is clean cool aquatic really nice I love it so this one we had it going in the bedroom, which was really nice. Okay, is this, and then we have this situation. <laughs> we have this situation. If you um, are a new subscriber, I, on Wednesdays, I do a series called Bars to Jars. And a lot of times what I'm doing is I'm mixing. And so I did some mixing here. So um, this, oh my gosh. So um, Caramel Vanilla Delight is absolutely fantastic. This is actually no longer available. And this, if you are new, you're probably like, holy cannoli, what is that? This is a brick. <laughs> this, my friends, is a brick. It is wax the size of my head. So it is essentially five and a half bars in one hunk of wax. <laughs> so, um, a lot of times Scentsy will do special brick months where they release uh, special brick fragrances or just some favorites that are in the huge, enormous brick size. You can get um, Scentsy bricks through the Scentsy Club subscription. Not every single scent, but a lot of the more popular scents are available in this size if you are interested in that. It is available only through Scentsy Club. Let's talk about fragrance. So Caramel Vanilla Delight. Oh my goodness. Love this so much. Like I said, this was available during the fall and winter and it's just so good and so decadent. I um, compared this to... Oh, it was a Homeworks Candle Spun. I want to say it's Spun Vanilla Sugar. I could have the order wrong in that name, but this is so good. It's so good. It is rich, rich, creamy vanilla, sweet caramel. It's just so good. It's really rich, slightly cloying, but I love it. I love any like vanilla based scents. So good. So love that, got through a cube or two here. Usually, so if you are going to purchase a brick for yourself, uh, you don't go through one whole brick cube in your warmer, just FYI. You do need to cut those suckers down. <laughs> so, cause you can see the size of the brick cubes versus the size of your bar cubes. So I will usually cut this either into halves you can cut it into thirds, quarters, whatever works for you. I usually cut it into halves and use it for my full size warmers. So just know that. Okay. And then the mixing that I did, I did um, vanilla bean buttercream with a cube of caramel sugar cone. 
So I mixed one to one ratio ish. <laughs> I didn't do a whole cube. I, I cut it down. Um, but essentially, so if you have a bar of vanilla bean buttercream, you can try a cube of vanilla bean buttercream with a cube of caramel sugar cone. And it's just, it's really, really nice. You get very close to this situation, not a dupe in any kind of way, but it is very close. So this was really nice as well. I love it. So there you have it. That is what I have gotten through over the last week. I'm still blowing through my bars like crazy. Anybody else? <laughs> it feels good though. It feels good to get through this wax. One thing I keep meaning to tell you guys, if you are wondering what to do with these, if you're just throwing them away, you can actually recycle these. And I know it varies from probably county to county, probably um, on what you can recycle. My county is not as strict, but um, over here on the bottom of this little clamshell, the recycle number is one. So a lot of times this is the kind of plastic that they're looking for to recycle. So um, if you don't reuse these for things, like my mom reuses these to put earrings in. <laughs> this is perfect to put earrings in. She'll use it to like store her paints and stuff. Like she'll squirt some paint in here, seals back up nice, keeps the paint nice. Um, so if you're not reusing these clamshells for some other project or anything, do recycle these because this is good plastic to be able to recycle. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments what you have been getting through over the last week. If you've been doing some mixing, let me know. Um, I love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.